Hello everybody, this is John with NAPCO Technical Support. In this video tech tip, we're going to be discussing how to program the keypad address and how to set the keypad type to an iBridge system. This video pertains to Z-Remote model numbers IBR-Z-Remote, the new IBR-Z-Remote-W, which is the new Wi-Fi model, as well as Control 4 and automation models C-IBR-Z-Remote and A-IBR-Z remote. For installing Connect iBridge, please see our video tech library for videos on that product. Also, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below for all new videos and give us a like if you enjoyed this video. This method I'm going to show you today is the easiest and also the recommended way to quickly keypad address and to set the keypad skin to your iBridge system. First and foremost, you must download the iBridge app onto your iPhone or Android phone, and also your smartphone must be connected to the customer's Wi-Fi network. So you will need to obtain that information from your customer and your smartphone connected. Being connected to the same local Wi-Fi network as the iBridge is very important, so make sure your smartphone is not on a separate guest network or a separate access point that's not on the same network as the iBridge module. In addition, both Cat5 internet cables on the Z remote need to be connected and also for the Z remote W, you need the one Cat5 or Wi-Fi connected already. So as long as you have everything done, the iBridge app loaded onto your smartphone and your smartphone connected to the same local network, we can go ahead and proceed. Second, once you've downloaded the iBridge app and your smartphone is connected to the same local network, we will need to put the control panel into keypad configuration mode. If you're using an 816, 1632, or 1664, the config jumper is located at the top center of the motherboard, as you see here circled in yellow. So just move this keypad config jumper to the bottom two pins. And if you're using a 3200 control panel, or a 9600, or an X255, uh, this same jumper configuration is located on the top right corner of the control panel, as you see here also circled in yellow, uh, you would just move this uh, configuration jumper to the bottom two pins and then we will proceed. Okay, so we have the panel put into keypad configuration mode. Now let's go ahead and open up the iBridge app on your smartphone. As you notice on the bottom right of the app, the system should be connecting locally uh, using Wi-Fi and when it's connected, it'll say connected locally as it's shown here. And just to reiterate, this can only be done via a local Wi-Fi connection, not a remote connection. So if it says connected IP, you will need to double check your internet connection on your Z remote. Okay, so let's press security and we're gonna go to other options and keypad mode. And in this mode here, uh, we do have to wait about 20, 30 seconds for it to go out of system. And as it just did, uh, it's showing 0, 4 out of system, RCM module. And this is exactly what we want to see. Uh, so to get into keypad configuration is 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, menu. And we're going to press menu or function uh, to toggle through and until we see the keypad address. And in this demonstration, we're going to be changing it to 0, 2. So we just type in 0, 2, and then we'll press enter or on off to save it. And once that's done, we can press menu or function to keep toggling. Um, any of this other information that we've seen here, we're not concerned with. Uh, we're just changing the keypad address and the keypad type. Uh, so we'll just keep pressing menu until we see keypad type. And we're actually going to be using the RP1. So if you press the stay key or the interior uh, key, this is the toggle. Uh, so we will select the GEM RP1 CAE2 and press on off to save it. I always like to scroll through again by pressing functional menu uh, just to verify the keypad address and then we could scroll through and uh, double check our keypad type which is RP1 CAE2. Uh, so once you're finished programming you just hit reset and we got 02 out of system RCM module. And that's it for the programming. Uh, you can now move the keypad configuration jumper on the control panel back to the top two pins, which is the normal operation. 
Uh, and this concludes our video tech tip on how to set the keypad address and keypad type of your iBridge system. Uh, for further support, please visit us online at tech.napcosecurity.com uh, and also check out our FAQ section there. And also make sure you subscribe and give us a like. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.